Greenhouse Effect Now let us recall the greenhouse in a nursery. The sun's heat is allowed to get in, but is not allowed to go out. The trapped heat warms the greenhouse and facilitates the growth of the plants in it. Now let us discuss about greenhouse effect. We all know that only a part of the sun's radiation that falls on the earth's surface is absorbed by it and rest is reflected back into space. However, the presence of more amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is trapping a part of the reflected radiation. The trapped radiations further warm the earth by increasing the temperature. As the trapping of radiations by the earth's atmosphere is similar to that of the greenhouse in a nursery, it is called as the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide is a component of air and it is essential for the photosynthesis in plants. But if there is excess of carbon dioxide in the air, it acts as a pollutant. Due to various human activities like deforestation, which contribute to the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide traps sun rays and does not allow it to escape into space. As a result, the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is gradually increasing. This phenomenon is called global warming. Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and water vapor are called as greenhouse gases as they contribute towards greenhouse effect. Now, let us understand the various consequences of global warming. Global warming causes rise in the sea levels which results in floods. In many places, coastal areas have already been flooded. Global warming could result in wide-ranging effects on rainfall patterns, agriculture, forests, plants and animals, etc.